How to make a whiteboard video in seven steps. Step one, craft the message. Step two, decide the length. Step three, the animation process. Step four, distribution. Step five, doing it yourself. Step six, degrees of cost. And step seven, why hire a studio? Step one, craft the message. The most important thing is your message. What do you want to say? Nothing is more important to your video than your message. So hire a professional writer to advise you on your script and guide you on a strategy that's right for you. Once you have your message, you need something to make your message sticky. Should your message be packaged in a story, a diagram, a metaphor, or just telling it to you straight? A veteran studio will guide you on the best strategy for your message. Here's a simple script outline. One, what's your viewer's problem? State this as quickly as possible. Two, what's the solution? Usually your company, your product, or your message. State this as quickly as possible. Three, break out a few points about why your product is the solution. We're the solution because of A, B, and C. Four, the call to action. Usually your .com address or your phone number. If you need a scriptwriter, there are thousands of talented writers out there, and their value is way beyond what they charge. Now a good script hooks the viewer. You want viewers to ask, what will happen next? The question of what will happen next is built into whiteboard videos. When an artist is building an image, the viewer asks, what are they drawing? And viewers are hooked from the beginning to the end when the final image is drawn. Step two, how long should the message be? When a whiteboard video is done right, a lot of things can be shared in a short span of time. Our studio can condense what you need to say into a 90 second to two minute window. A little fact, 130 words can be comfortably spoken in a minute. The majority of our viewers watch a full two minutes of our work. Why? Because our whiteboard videos take the viewer on a journey. A simple through line that's easy to follow and asks the dramatic question, what will happen next? Two minutes also applies because video advertising is far more targeted today and the ad space is far cheaper than it was 10 years ago. Going longer than two minutes is fine if your audience is a captive audience or if they have incentive to watch your video. Going for 30 seconds is good if your video has a sizable ad spend on television or the internet. The majority of us do not fall into that category. And that leads us to... Step three, the animation process and schedule. Our studio can animate in as little as a week, but the majority of our animations take five to six weeks. Week one is script review with the creative director. The team develops a side-by-side. Style frames are created to determine style. This involves an art director and an illustrator. Full storyboards and audio. We hire a New York City actor to voice your project. We also find the right music to match. Week five is the final animation. Step four, distribution. There are lots of ways to share and use a video today, such as your website, YouTube, Facebook, Google, eBlast, LinkedIn, Twitter, cable, the radio, conferences, sales presentations, or even at the airport or on a bus. Step five, doing it yourself in three ways. The first thing to note is that doing it yourself is not free. Writing, animating, illustrating, doing voiceover and music, all takes a lot of time, and a poor video is often a waste of time, energy, and money. But if you have no other option, here's what you can do. Get a high resolution video camera, a tripod, a whiteboard, a projector, and bright global lighting from all sides. You'll also need video editing software and image editing software like Photoshop, Illustrator, and MSS Paint. Number one, trace. Trace the image lightly with pencil. Film yourself drawing on top of the image. Take the video into a video editor and increase the contrast just a bit to make the pencil marks go away. Voila, magic. Two, erase. Draw the image first, get it perfect, then erase it. Put it into your video editor and reverse the footage frames. Again, voila, magic. Three, software. Use an animation program like Videoscribe or After Effects to create the animation. These programs require tutorials and training, so of course there is real cost and time involved beyond just the cost of the software. Step six, degrees of cost. Here's a link to our website where we break costs down. For a decade, we've been on the first page of Google for how much does an animation cost? Because our website provides the market rate along with videos that correspond to that rate. 
the cost goes up the more detail you add, the more color, and the more motion. The cost varies depending on how professional you want to look. Step 7. Why hire a studio? The goal of your message is worth more than the cost of your video. You wouldn't hire the cheapest CEO to run your business. In the same way, you don't want the cheapest video to reach thousands or millions of viewers. You should hire a studio because you want professionals, someone with a proven track record and decades worth of experience. The same is true for animation. To learn more about whiteboard videos or full cartoons and commercials, call us at 646-801-3496 or visit our website, whiteboardanimation.com.